in the middle of like the first song, my amp just shut off completely. The way tonight started was uh, I woke up early in the morning to a text message from uh, the booking agency that we worked with uh, saying that the place didn't have a door guy, the place didn't have an audio person, I have to run sound, I have to play the show, and I have to count heads and do all the money at the door and everything like that. We walked in DIY'd it like we were back in the valley. This tour is not sponsored by Modelo. You getting hand tonight? Good chance of it. I'm taking money. He's the, the actual muscle behind me. How long did it take you to grow that beard? Uh, like three years. Three years? Yeah. What's the main What's the, what's the main thing? Like my hair used to be Just put coconut oil in it. That's all I got to do. Get frosted. What's that? Get frosted. What does that mean? It means we go, we bump some Max Frost, and we just just get just get frosted. It's frost, man. Not only am I on the road with him as a sound guy and everything like that, but like I I honestly love kicking it with him. Like and I, I I think he feels the same. I've always known he's better at guitar than me. So whenever he's checking the guitar, I think he likes to he likes to make a point of showing me and the audience every time that he's better than me, which I'm okay with. It. You know, it's, I'm okay with being emasculated by his, his butt chin, by uh, his mutton chops, his sleeve tat, and from what I can tell, underneath those tight jeans, a fairly girthy penis. Let's give it up for a world war, that was awesome! That was incredible! What a hell of a way to start out this night! Make them as big a sound as we can with the three of us, as much of a racket, and we just go for it. People will express themselves and do it all together, you know? It's a team, team effort, not just each band individually, but every band all together. It's like this night doesn't happen without all of us. In the middle of like the first song, my amp just shut off completely. So in the middle of that, Frost comes running up to the stage. She's like, you good? You need help? You need an amp? Want me to get you an amp? I was like, in a split second, I was like, yes. So we had an amp guy on us. Luckily, we have three guitar players in the band. So he went over, found the guy from uh, World War. Tom, who is the man for letting me borrow his stuff. Thank you if you see this. Thank you so much. I know I said it like 18 times tonight, but I'm gonna say it a million more times. Thank you. No, it doesn't matter, man. Like, I want you guys to get up there and play just as much as I want to go and play. So we got all this stuff on stage because Baki runs over and jumps on stage while we're playing and starts unplugging shit, getting me set up, and we play the show. Duty calls, man, and sometimes when you're on stage and you have duty, you gotta respond to the call. And in that situation, I'll see you when you get back, okay? It. So, um, you guys would have done the same thing for me. They didn't have to do that. I would have liked them regardless, but respect. This was like the hometown show for Jordan, in a sense, for Nick, and. Kind of for Terran too. I know he's from Florida, but you know this is his home. Like I play a lot of death metal stuff normally, or or tech metal. She is not into that, so it's it's really nice for me to like have her come up after the show. Is like I actually liked that music. Like it, it's such a cool cool feeling. Yeah. I grew up mostly watching him do jazz music, so watching him in a, in a punk pop, all, punk rock, all like alternative setting was amazing. Anytime I mention anything, he's like, bro, I'm there. That's the kind of guy this. And he's always been the coolest guy every year I've known him. Dude, I'm so glad you were the one that guessed the song. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> guy, the mo the, moment, I, the moment I heard Sacred Heart, I knew. Scrubs, that's Scrubs. it. Scrubs, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Me, I'm <laughs>
watching from the window. Look like a rotten f***ing liar right now. How many times am I supposed to be cussing? Oh, don't worry, we bleep him out and it gets we, 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 Oh, we do? Okay, well, f*** it then, you know? Like, f*** it, this is gonna be great. It's gonna be the greatest f***ing time. Jordan's mom's not watching this, right? Like, she's gonna cuss me out. Yes, sir, yeah. man! This is, you just f***ed up my debut, bro. Like, I was in the middle of this You just run out with all this excitement, like, supporting me and no, I appreciate it. It's cool. It's fine. Right. Nah, come in. Come in, bro. I gotta go settle. Fred go. Scholar, you mean you're gonna leave? Mohawk, New York gotta, native. Love to have him here. Another one of our friends from back home coming out. Love it. Let's wait, get rowdy. You guys want to fight? Welcome to the fight. How can I make this something unique? And I love comic books. I love superhero movies. I love superhero TV shows, all that. So I was like, I'm gonna make a like a comic book themed rock band. Then Havoc Faction. I got I got one phrase for them, and you're gonna have to bleep this out. Havoc fa Havoc Faction. They uh, we are kind of working on like a cool little. Uh, Comic book story. Are you uh, Kyle from Havoc Faction? Oh my god, yeah, I am actually. Yeah. Holy yeah. Shit. yeah. I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. Dude, is I this just, like, <laughs> this for CNN? I mean, oh my god. Every song is just. Dude, I I got I every lyric I'm to every Greenlight Theory song tattooed on my body. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm sorry. I can't say where on camera. Uh, I can't say. I love you. This is, that's my actually, that's my bandmate. And so we were all pretty smashed at the OC fair, running around. We're like, all right, it's time to go home and hang out. As we're leaving, I hear, I think it's Werewolf or Werewolf by Every Time I Die. Seeing as I was a sound guy, I, I had to play music, and I have the Get the f Out playlist. It's a little heavier, little heavier, little heavier, and then finally I just throw on Every Time I Die on repeat. And I'm like, oh my God, somebody here gets it. And I'm playing map change, and all of a sudden I hear like sprinting. I run up to the stage, and I'm like, dude, I see the sound guy, I'm like, yeah, I'm like mouthing every word to him. Turns out it's Jordan. He's like, yo, this is like, my favorite song. And so we connected. Like, dude, okay. yes! <laughs> I love you, dude. Forever, dude. Forever. You can thank Every Time I Die, Keith Buckley, Jordan Buckley, Andy, you can thank all of them for putting us on the road. That's my conclusion. And now we make out every night to Every Time I Die. So before the tour, my brother Mike told me, whatever you do, just let him know you're there. I'm about to let him know we were there. That's for you, Mike. It's for you, Brandon. That's for you, Newman. It's for you, Trevor, Tripoli, everyone back home. We were there. Shout out to Ashley. This is this is the homie right here. Ashley, 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 Ashley. MVP Woo! of the night. MVP of the night. Thank you so much, man. It was great to see Jordan in a musical element in that context. But you know, he was he was dealing with the with the front of house at the same time. He had some amp issues. We jumped up there. We got the amp switched out. But he was going for it, man. I'm still like real stoked that he came out. It meant a lot that he did. Um, it meant a lot that everybody did. I caught Max Frost on the way out. He made an appearance here at the Lexington tonight. I didn't think he was going to. I saw him. I was a little bit starstruck. You know what? I was. Uh, I, it was great. I saw him on the way out. He knew who I was just because Jordan, and I knew who he was obviously. And I just like saw him. We made eye contact, and I was like. And he's like, Frucci. It's like, oh, thanks, man. I was just quick, quick, quick hugging the way out. The music was playing, so I couldn't like chat with him, but uh, that was all I needed. Okay. Who do you like better, Max Frost or David from Take the Scissors? He's right behind me, isn't he? Yes. Uh, One spot. David from Takers Levers. Good answer. <laughs> happening all over stage during our set and even like a little bit during other pet sets. But everybody just kept rolling, you know? Like, and it was a killer show. You know, the crowd loved it. Uh, every band was amazing. Luckily, Content Brigade always comes through. We had, I mean, Pat was just like, you know, well, you, you were just all about like, no, tell me what to do, tell me what to do. <laughs> uh, Taryn just comes over and he's like, Give me the cash bag. I'm like, am I getting robbed? He's like, yes. And then he took care of the door. He made sure that everybody going in was was accounted for. Jordan really uh, played, uh, wore all the hats tonight. When you guys were like in the cut, it's like, 
It's like watching a UFC fight. It's just like, ugh, it's just like bare knuckle. In San Francisco, though, if you, your amp goes out, that's beyond me, <laughs> dude. At that point, I got nothing. See you later. <laughs> Essentially like the so best big. Mexican street food yeah. I've, I've ever had. So it's on the corner of Hyperion and Rowena. I live like one block away. So I was losing weight. I am no longer losing weight. But this is art. I love yeah, this. Piece of art. Absolute fire, Pat. Favorite. Fuego.